Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Ads Keyword Planner. Google Ads Keyword Planner is a fabulous tool that will allow you to find out new keyword ideas that you can use for your content marketing strategy or it can be used for targeting keywords for your Google Ads campaign. Well, the obvious and the primary reason for using Keyword Planner is to come up with keyword ideas so that you can add it to your Google Ads campaign and start targeting your ideal audience uh, when they search for related products or services or search terms on, on search engine like Google. Now, let's get started. So when you log into Google, click on Tools and Settings and click on Keyword Planner. The first thing that we want, we are going to take a look at is um, discover new keywords. Now, once you click on this, this is where you need to enter, you know, keywords that are closely related to your business. So, for example, let's say your business is about digital marketing services such as SEO, PPC, uh, social media marketing, content marketing. You know, these are the kind of services that you provide. In that case you need to add keyword like um, you know, digital marketing services. You can add a um, few other keywords like <clears throat> online marketing services. You can say SEO services, um, social media management. So that's um, a pretty decent number of you know, starter keyword list. And then what you need to do is you need to select the country that you want to target. So in this case, I want to target um, United States and let's say uh, to, 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 to UK, United Kingdom. So I'm going to select those two countries and then hit save. And then what you can do is hit get results. So now what Google is going to provide you is it's going to give you all the related keywords and um, it's going to give you more information in terms of their average monthly searches. So as, I, as you can see, uh, these are the keywords that we provided, but if you scroll down, you get additional keyword ideas like intern market, marketing service, digital marketing agency, SEO agency. The average monthly search is anywhere between 10,000 to 100,000 um, K, um, 100 K, and then uh, the competition value is how difficult it, it, it is in terms of targeting those keywords. So for internet marketing service, the competition metrics is like uh, pretty low, it's like four. So basically it, it's a low competition keyword. Uh, if you wanna um, bid for that keyword, you should uh, uh, bid at least $5 so that you can show up on the first page of um, Google. Uh, and if you want to bid, uh, like if you wanna make sure that you are always being shown uh, at the very top, uh, the, the top of the page bid high range is around $17. So it's going to give you more information in terms of the average uh, top of the page bid on the low range, on the high range, the competition for that keyword and the average monthly searches. Now you can use this information in two ways. You can either collect the relevant keywords that you want and you can add it in your Google Ads campaign and start targeting them. Um, or you can use this information to optimize your website. Um, if you already have a website and if you have a services page, um, then you can start um, you know, enriching those pages by taking these keywords and start making on-page optimization. Now that's the second uh, approach of utilizing this information. And the third approach is to create new content. So let's say you, you want to um, target like SEO analysis, for example. The competition is medium. Um, it's, it's a decent, you know, um, cost per click in terms of the low and high range. So it's, it's probably a good idea to rank for this keyword organically so that you can get more traffic. So SEO analysis can be a good um, keyword to target, obviously SEO consultant. So what I'm saying is you get a lot of ideas and you can start um, planning uh, to you know, use those keywords in your um, online marketing um, campaigns, in your ads, in your website, or create new content. So that's how useful you know the keyword planner tool is uh, in terms of um, trying to find 
new keyword ideas all right now let's let's also find uh, take a look at the the other tool which is um, search volume and forecast now in this is again a different um, tool where you again add um, different keywords like digital marketing services online marketing services and then I'm gonna add just two keywords and then uh, hit get started now what Google is going to do is it's gonna give you a rough estimate in terms of how much it's gonna cost to target these keywords and what kind of results you can expect so you can expect around 110 clicks for around $260 uh, with uh, an average cost per click of three dollars now let's say you are bidding high then obviously you can get like look at this when i when i increase the bid um say five dollars um i can get around 140 clicks for 440 dollars sorry about that i can get around 440 dollars so that's um how you can use the the search volume forecast and start planning for your campaign and this is a good indication in terms of how much uh, budget you will need what if you assume a click-through rate of seven percent how much um, you know clicks you can get and you can add more conversion metrics um, such as you can say let's say you know that you you get your average conversion rate is like let's say three percent um, then in that case um, this will result in around four conversions with an average cost per acquisition of hundred dollars so this is a good indication to plan your campaign for those targeted keywords so that's just another tool that um, I wanted to quickly go over. Now, uh, let's go back to the, the, the tool that we talked about earlier, that's the, the discover new keywords. I wanna quickly show you um, one another method where you can um, take, a, take your website and um, add that as an input for Google Ads to come up with keyword ideas. So, uh, instead of start with keywords, what you can do is you can click on start with a website and then here I'm going to add my own website dot on our IR. Now what this is going to tell Google is hey Google take um, uh, Take this website as your as a reference and then use the entire website to come up with keyword ideas um, So let's see if Google can understand my website and let's see how well uh, it's going to recommend um, keywords for us. So I'm going to hit get results and look at that. That's awesome. It's go it's it's recommending pretty accurate list of keywords um, based on how it understands my website. Best online marketing strategies, digital marketing strategy, um, top online marketing strategies, um, best digital strategy. So I, I my website is all about um, educating people about um, digital marketing strategies, digital marketing campaigns. So it, it does a phenomenal job in terms of recommending those keywords. Uh, look at that, internet marketing best practices, how to use digital marketing to promote your business. So, which is awesome. And I think this is a great way, look at that, how to use digital marketing. So this is exactly what I talk about on my blogs. Um, and for every keyword, it's again recommending you the average monthly search, the competition value or uh, is it low, high, or medium competition, the average cost per click. So um, what you can conclude from this is, let's say you add your website, you can use this approach to understand how well Google understands your website. I hope that makes sense. When you add your own website, um, Google is going to analyze the information and it's gonna pull in the database that it keeps uh, updated in terms of all the pages of your website and it's gonna start recommending more keyword ideas so again you can use these keyword ideas to enrich your existing content or obviously you can use these exact keywords in your ad group um, and start um, targeting those keywords to generate more traffic conversions and leads um, so that's how you know we can um, see and look into the brain of Google uh, to find out how well it understands um, your website. Um, now let's go back and I wanna show you one more way of um, using the Keyword Planner tool. 
Now, we talked about start with a website. What you can do is you can even select a specific, um, what do you call, uh, page within the, the URL. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's see if uh, digital marketing in pharmaceutical. Okay, so this is one of the blogs that uh, I have published and I'm gonna add that exact URL um, and I'm gonna say use that page, use only this page to get me or to give me some keyword results. So I'm gonna add this as the URL um, and then I'm gonna select the page and then say use this page and then hit get results. Now let's see if Google um, uh, you know recommends any keyword ideas. Okay, that's awesome, look at that. Uh, digital marketing, uh, pharmaceutical marketing, pharma industry, so um, pharmaceutical market research. So these are um, all the keywords that um, Google is recommending from this particular blog. And, um, and I wanna quickly show you the blog as well because in this blog I talk about all the different um, tactics and strategies for pharmaceutical companies. So Google already has you know indexed this page and um, it has probably helped me rank on certain keywords. So based on that information, it's gonna provide you um, keyword ideas. So pharmaceutical marketing strategy, this is exactly um, what I'm talking about, you know, uh, digital marketing in pharmaceutical industry. So um, again, the approach here is uh, giving Google specific URL and trying to find keyword ideas only on those specific URLs. And you can then start um, using these keywords um, and then you can start adding to your ad group. Um, now let's quickly touch base on how to use these keywords in your campaign. So let's say you select a couple of keywords. Uh, what you can do is you can either uh, create a new ad group. Now in this case, yes, obviously we need to create a new ad group. Uh, you can say digital uh, marketing in pharma and then hit create. And then what you can do is you can select the type of keyword match type. Um, if you don't know what these are, I have a video on my YouTube channel that explains in detail what are the different keyword match types. So you can select broad match, phrase match, or exact match, and then you can hit add keywords. So now you have added those keywords in your ad group. And if you click on the ad group, uh, you can simply select it you can change you know, certain things and then you can uh, create a new campaign. Now, let's go back to the plan overview, actually keyword ideas. Uh, I'm gonna add them, add keywords, okay, and then go to add group. Okay, look at that. Uh, when you added those keywords to your ad group, Google is automatically um, giving you uh, an ad group forecast. It's saying me that if I spend $50, I will get 21 clicks uh, with a click-through rate of 2.9%. Uh, and average CPC is 2.3, that's fine. And then what you can do is you can just simply, when you hit create campaign, it's gonna simply create a campaign um, based on this ad group and the keywords within that ad group. Voila, that's it. That's how easy it is to use this tool. And then you can go back into that campaign and start creating ads so that you can actually target those people. So that's pretty much it guys. I know it was a pretty fast and quick overview of Google Keyword Planner and it's a phenomenal tool. Again, it's great to analyze um, and come up with keyword ideas that you can use in your campaign. It's also great to come up with keyword ideas that you can use for your content marketing. You can use those um, keywords and terms um, to optimize your uh, to conduct your on-page optimization of your website and enrich those pages so that you can rank better. Um, and, and obviously there are two different ways you can add a website as an input um, and uh, that will also help you to figure out how well Google understands your website and how well it's going to recommend keywords. If you get like crazy um, keyword ideas uh, for your website and if it's all over the place and if you think um, you know, it doesn't make any sense at all. That basically is a red flag because if Google is giving you random keyword ideas, which is nowhere related to your actual website, 
then it means that one of your blog posts or actually I don't want to say one of your blog posts, then what it means is you are not ranking for the keywords that you should be ranking for your business. And uh, if you need any help mm, on that in terms of, oh my God, sorry, good. Uh, my alarm just keeps going. Anyways, um, if you if you find out that the keywords are not um, based on the business that you have, then then that's a fundamental problem and we need to you need to make sure that you you take a closer look at your overall um, website you know seo so uh, that's pretty much it if you have any questions um make sure to um comment and i will get back to you and thank you very much i'll see you next time